Oops, 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 that's what was missing. The music. Uh, the meat. Okay, groovy. Hello, driver. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and early. Okay, let us go tell everybody that this is happening. Because that is a good idea. Is my microphone working? Yes, it is. McBand, hello, hello. I don't know what accent this is. This accent is an accent, I suppose. And we go on Discord. Hello, Abscord. Hello, hello, hello. Bonjour and hello to the stream. Hello to the stream. <laughs> hello and welcome to the stream. Okay. Alright. Oh no, I'm multitasking. Oh no, I'm multitasking. Oh no. Inefficiency. Efficiency is reduced. Okay, Groovy, here we are. Hello, El Coven. Hello, Rolls. Uh, Rolls 2 is broken. Hello, Nalmana. Hello, The Bevel. Hello, Dice. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Let's get busy. What is that thing? I've never seen this plane before. At least I don't think I have. It might be old. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so the plan is, we're gonna keep things nice and small, and uh, just in case anyone's wondering, uh, cram speed factor is currently set to 2, uh, so that's what we're gonna do, and we are gonna have multiple crams, and uh, yeah, first things first, I want to show you what I made last night, just to get us started, it is a probably... Yeah, it's, it's just I have a whole folder for AA crams now, just testing stuff. And this is one of them. It's just nice and cheap, it's nice and small. And we're actually going to base the size of our thing off this thing, because it's going to have four of these, two in front, two in the back, because multiple crams is fun. So we're going to select that. And now uh, we're going to destroy all of this move subcontracts and now we're going to rig this so that we can build our main cram cannon which by the way I'm going to embrace the suck with Tetris with this hey nah Tolroth you are right on time <laughs> jeez Cram Dogfighter. I have never tried to make a Cram Dogfighter. I will have to experiment with that. So let us do... What do we want to do? Let's do... Something like this. Incidentally, I'm going to do my rubber trick. That sounds dirty. Uh, I have got to be able to... There we go. Perfect. Okay. That accomplished almost nothing, but it's okay. So we're going to have a slightly bigger cram here. How are we going to make this thing cheap? I think we're just we're going to keep the armor nice and thin. And that'll have to do. Or we could make it entirely out of stone. That could work too. accomplished a thing. Now, do I want to do... I think I need to fully embrace the suck. That's a bit big, actually. That's much bigger than I was actually intending to do. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Hmm... 
So much for this is already inflating more than I wanted it to. Let's dial this back a bit. Dial it back just a wee bit. When you wake up and you realize what you're doing is like, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's so, it's so big. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There we go. Also, the whole concept of AI cram is very silly. I'm highly aware of that. Can we make it smaller? Brrr. Yeah, it will be rapid fire cram. That is the plan. And this one, the uh, central cram, is going to be multi barreled. So, yeah, that is an idea. Alright, are we going to have a neck on this? I think we're going to have a neck on this. I think we're going to have a lovely neck on it. And brace yourselves for sucky Tetris. Because I have been on a cramped binge recently, and it's so fun and so silly. Okay, I could... Mm, should we do six connection cramped? Let's try six connection cramped Tetris. So, for anyone who's wondering, what I mean by cramped Tetris is Tetris that looks like this. It is pretty freaking terrible, and it's only really good for creating a basically four-barreled uh, cramped turret where you have, like, you know, it's an easy way to get an identical fire rate out of all guns, provided you do it correctly, which I don't always do. So let's do this now. We're gonna try and do 3D Tetris in here. It might not work. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. A lot of things that can go wrong. Lots of things that can go wrong. Remember not to that's yeah. We are going to be embracing the suck a little bit. More than a little bit. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Hello, legal eagle. Four barrel with regular diamond churches. Yes I could, but um I tend to find that tends to Okay, firstly, this is fun, and I like doing this, and secondly, that uh, regular Diamond Tetris requires a bit of, like, asymmetrical spaghetti in the neck, which I hate doing. I know it's better. I know it is better, it's better in pretty much every single way. So, there's no excuse, really. But, let's go. What should we do? So, yeah, I am just embracing the suck, because this is an AA Cram Hydrofoil. Like, it's already going to suck. A lot. Okay. This might not be as terrible as I... Whoops. I hit the wrong button. Okay. That one's a good idea. Color coding. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Also, um, I had a pretty interesting system crash that reset all my video options from the apps the other day, so this probably looks different. Uh, yep. Reportedly snapped a vehicle bounding boxes? You think? I've never had good results uh, with uh, HE trying to make an AI cram, but we can try it. We can try it. No reason not to try yet. Okay, what else can I do here with my life? That, and let's do that. Oops, and let's do that, and let's do... Just gotta 
make sure that this is actually 3D Tetris and not something else. I could just prefab this. I'm not sure why I'm not doing that. Oops. Gah, I'm rotating so much. So much rotation. Okay, and here I'm going to... Oh, avert thine eyes, because this is going to be terrible. One <laughs> little harder pellet there, because with this kind of Tetris, you can't freaking get sex connections on that one. Oh, boy. Well, no, no, no. Honestly, the main reason I'm doing cramped Tetris right now is because I feel like it. <laughs> and that's really, that's the only reason why. Sometimes you have to do sucky Tetris as therapy. That's completely wrong, by the way. Yeah, like, I don't even, I don't have the excuse of like, oh, I'm feeling lazy, therefore I'm doing uh, cramped Tetris, because uh, what I'm doing right now is probably more needlessly complicated than you know, doing regular diamond tetras. Okay, there's that. And that. Dumpy dumpy dum. Oh, the... Oh, the nerds are going to be so unhappy with me. Oh, the people who are crazy about optimization. They're gonna hate this. In fact, I'm probably gonna hate this. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, this is important. You need to make sure that things are all connected right. Could be a gigantic disaster. Could be a hopelessly big gigantic disaster. fourth and prefab it. Well, that would have also been a good idea. <laughs> cool. Okay. Wait, chat's... Why does chat still... Why is chat like this? I don't know why it does this. This literally... No. Why? Why, why, oh why? Does the chat not say? <sighs> why does OBS do this thing? Freaking hell, man. Freaking heck. Ah, I don't know how to fix it. It just has a mind of its own. Can you please just work? Come on. Uh, please, people, please keep typing, because, like, I need to see when chat box actually gets fixed. Oh, boy. Joys of recode. There we go. I, I don't know what's happening there. 
so frustrating. So frustrating. I should totally have just prefab this. There we go. Okay. Right, we have achieved chat. Yay. Why is the cram a pancake? I'm not sure what you're talking about. It's always a pancake. It's always been a pancake. It's always been a pancake day. Right, and I'm going to stick more gauge increases, and we're just going to randomly end up with something really crap. And just a surge protector in here for absolutely no other reason than it's funny. Okay, now the moment of truth. Going to save this thing as a placeholder, by the way. There we go, and do that, and then do this, and make sure everything is connected right, because sometimes it isn't. And jolly good thing. Thing not connected. On front option, you can do build option. No, see the UI warning highlight going wrong. Anything? Nope. And this is check here. Connected pack is five. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Connected pack is four. That will do. Connected pack is six and six and six, so this is good bad Tetris. Incidentally, uh, the firepower these uh, stats tend to get a little bit weird because they're different for each cram. So this is 347, and this is 297, and they all have I oh hello 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 hello. Why do you have a different reload? Why do you have a different reload, honey? Honey? Oh, that's why. No, wait, what? Well, so much for my theory. Well, so much for the one advantage of cramp Tetris that I was talking about. I lied. I lied horribly. White packer furthest outside. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Quarter packet isn't right. What do you mean it isn't right? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you mean isn't right? Is it supposed to be crossing over? What do you mean? Yes, it is. Yep, four grams. Crossing over? No, yeah, no, no. That's that's supposed to be happening. Wait a minute. Okay, no, they don't connect to gauge increases, so that's fine. Uh, you know what? I'll live with it. I do want this thing to have a slightly staggered fire anyway. Don't do this at home, by the way. This is silly. What I'm doing right now is silly. <laughs> yeah, this is four crams. This is four. This will do. This will do. And I'm going to turn off that warning highlighting because I don't actually need it. Here and it's going here and one, two, three, four, so I can remember what I'm doing with my life. Back 
correct? Yes, it is. How horrible is our reload now? That is a horrible reload! <laughs> Damn it! I think I need to get rid of some gauge increases. Okay, let's just quickly get rid of... Oh, hello! Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> no, no, sharing packages is an option. That does work these days. Yeah, so yeah, this this is uh, this is the Tetris that'll make you cry. It'll make you cry in your face. All right, uh, let's just put these firing pieces back. Now I'm going to take two of them off anyway. Yeah, 24, 20 rounds of 24 per minute. That'll do. That'll do, pig. And inertial, time for launch. How long have we been going? 20 minutes. We've made a crap cram in 20 minutes. Perfect. How's the stats on this thing? Oh, wow, that's actually... 200 material for firepower? What? Well, by the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> by the numbers... I guess if you average it all out, these are kind of efficient, because they're sharing a lot of pellets. Packers and compactors again, you think? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that will do. 24 RPM is not great, but it's good enough for our purposes. Because uh, we're going to have four of these guys keeping up the rapid fire, and then these big boys uh, can go shooty-shoot. There we go. Okay, this thing is already bigger than I intended it to. This is why when I want to build small, I generally start with the hull rather than anything else. Okay, and now that must do. Alright, so this needs a neck. This needs a great big neck. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I messed up. I think I messed up completely. No, wait. No, I haven't. Um, um, yeah, I'm gonna have a big neck. I have no choice but to have a big neck. Ah, shakes. Right here. Screw it. You know what? Okay, never mind. Do I want pancake? Do I want pancake? Nah, I don't. One, two, three, four. Oh, much super firing is going to result from this. Oh dear. Oh dear. This might be one of those builds. Are you 25 meters per second? There's a lot of compactors in here. Hold hmm. point because why the hell not? Oh dear. Oh dear. People are going to be upset with me. Ah, oh, people are going to be upset with me. They're going to be so upsetty. I'm not gonna want any spaghetti. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, it's got a long neck. Oh, I don't like this. No, I don't like this at all. No. <laughs> Damn it. Don't like it. Do not like it at all. Do not like it at all. Do not like it. Do not like it, I say. I do not like it in a boat. I do not want it in my moat. Yeah. Uh, 
I think I might have been very silly. Oh no, this could be one of those streams again. I think maybe cram hydrofalls are just cursed for me. Cursed, I say! Barrel guards. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, I'm committed, but oh, don't think this is gonna go well. Don't think this is gonna go well at all. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I can feel it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, I will definitely need to do anti munition system because like good luck shooting torpedoes with cram words. It's just not gonna work. And everything is just gonna be too big uh, otherwise. I just need to check if this neck works the way I want it to. Okay, that neck does work the way I wanted to. Lovely. This is a weird turret. I don't think I've ever built something like this. things. Very silly things. got cheeks. Delicious chubby cheeks. Okay, let's do that, let's do that. Get rid of the wooden blocks. Oh yeah, I should do this. That's... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so we've got our mediocre as cram. I never do my best work on streams. I should... Alright. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, just for giggles, I'm going to get rid of that. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, now let's see. This thing looks very front heavy, actually. Oh boy. Okay, let's test it against a flying squirrel. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Very important ingredient I missed. And that is the laser targeter. Thanks for remembering just in time, me. Okay, this is not starter material. Let's just check how much this is. This... Huh, okay, no, that's actually kind of cheap. It's like just over 18,000. Not bad for a crappy cram. Well done. <laughs> that's not a good start. Right. 
So this is very much... Let's see, what is... Are you going to get anywhere near it? Doesn't fire very quickly, but remember we've got other ones that will do that. Okay, I think we're going to have to start over because this is a complete failure. Although you never know. Just needs to shoot at exactly the right time. Eee. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, what happened? Okay, there we go. There we go, we're scratching her. We're scratching her. Yeah, like, don't use anti-air crams if you want an easy life, uh, by the way. I'm do this is for giggles, which is why I used crappy tetras. Is everyone being sick yet? It does have a flaw. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I don't think HE H e wouldn't really work at the scale. Why are things not detonating? I think... Right, see, that's why I prefer using frag for this, is because, like, you know, it only needs a few fragments on target for something like a squirrel to kind of make a mess of it. Yeah, one of those bloody things doesn't have fuses. It's very annoying. Or it's because I set up the laser targeted badly. There we go, that's better. Okay, so that works, and the other thing to use against is... Where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it, Falcon. There we go. Thank you, driver! So yeah, we are tickling them. We are going tickle, tickle, tickle. Is this thing actually decent? I literally cannot tell. It's cheap. Four crams in an 18,000 material package. gonna have trouble with the thing. You know what I want to try is how good will this configuration... Damn it. Hold on. Uh, you go over there and we'll do save this thing somewhere else. I'm gonna save it here. Test fortresses, cram, air crams. All three cramped. There we go. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna get two of these guys. And then I'm going to blow up this fortress just because I can. Yay, disintegration. And then I'm gonna put these guys front of here like so because this is the kind of uh, something like this is the figure configuration we're gonna have it's gonna be a lot of gun this song's too loud I don't like it go away there we go what do people say campaign is kind of a mess 
Money isn't that tight. Yep, yep, yep. Detection error. Oh yeah, you can make, you could do that. Uh, the problem is uh, if something's flying away from you, uh, that's a problem. Also, also, also. Also, I want to do this. Because shock horror, this isn't gonna have any superstructure. Other things. And I can freeze. Yeah, that doesn't look weird at all. Oh dear, alright. Set things up ahead of time. What do I set things up ahead of time? So you look less... Foolish. So you look less like a foolish fool. this thing and it's adorable eaters and it's highly inefficient use of blocks interesting okay and we've got a prefab already to go here where's it where's it where's it, where's it? I don't know what I'm doing with this. Alright, armored laser sight. That's probably a little big, actually, so I'm going to do something slightly different. Turrets will have the next best thing. I'm going to have a hat. <laughs> you, you. Why not have dedicated detection turrets like real ships? Because it's just, I don't know, it's just more, it just feels more efficient um, to have him to not have them separate, because you use less deck space that way. Also, if, uh, if the detection turret gets shot off, you lose detection. And if it does not get shot... Basically, it's like, it's this kind of idea that, uh, you put all your eggs in one basket, so if one egg is broken, it's like, oh, okay, it doesn't matter if the other egg got blown up as well. I'm not explaining this very well. But basically, I pretty much never do that, because there never seems to be any point. I mean, there's reasons why in real life... I like this thing, actually. It looks kind of derpy. Uh, there's reasons why uh, the detection and the weaponry is kept separate on real ships, and I think that's something to do with... I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I can't answer that question. It's just not how I do things. Oh yeah, why did I put four ports on a 90 degree camera? Durr, well spotted, thank you. Why did I, why did I do that? Why did I do that? It's very silly. Thank you, who, who pointed that out? Oh, 
Thank you, no mana. Yeah, that, that was silly. Why did I do that? See what happens when I multitask and try and explain things as I'm doing them? It doesn't work very well. Okay, I actually kind of like this. Let's see how well this does against the Falcons again. Why are we testing against Falcons? Yeah, so we have a big frag and smaller frag. Smaller frag fires quicker. Like so. Wow, that actually hit. That's impressive. Clipping the wings of these things repeatedly. The fact that they can aim almost straight up is kind of cool. Uh, what are we using? Stagger bus. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Right, this does okay, actually. It's not great, but it's a freaking cram cannon. What do you expect? I do love how these sound, though. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere. blocks off them bit by bit. Whee! I mean, one of the great things about um, this is that, like, you know, if you just clip off enough blocks off a tiny aircraft, the thing goes out of control. And then it gets uh, destroyed. Okay, that's enough of that. We get the idea. This can shoot down aircraft. But we now we need to deco those barrels. Like so. Here we go, we've got recall chambers. Jolly, jolly, jolly good. Let's just make this damn thing. <sighs> Try out H. I mean, I guess. Uh... Alright, so now let's get rid of this. Uh... Okay. Okay, so the wonderful thing about this is like, I'm not, by the way, not gonna do the reconfigure loadout thing because that bollocks everything up. I don't think this is gonna work very well, but I'll try it, simply to make you happy. Try out H. -E. Try out H. -E. How does that have? Jesus, 
weird. Sometimes it's a little buggy. Sometimes it makes things weird. Connections there, and it's all weird. It's all weird and stuff. All right, are there any fragments left? It's got a 20 meter radius. What was that? Frostbite, I think, was saying something about HE snapping uh, towards stuff. All right. Well, no, it's like uh, it, it has a range gap of like 30 meters so anything more than that is like basically you need a big cram uh, in order to reach the explosion radius cap which doesn't really fit well with a good anti-air gun especially a secondary and it's just it just doesn't have as big a radius as frag it just doesn't Why did that not explode? Oh, no, there it is. Alright, now we get to wait for this to happen. I should have just gone with 2D Tetris for this thing, actually. For the rate of fire. Damn it. Right, so this is why I'm not a huge fan of using HE for this, is because, I don't know, it's just not going to work very well. It's just not gonna work, lads. <laughs> you need a you need a much bigger cram than this in order to make HE work. Ah, uh, okay, I feel sick. Let's stop doing that. Yeah, that. Yeah, see, we've, yeah, nope, <laughs> nope. This is not working. Yeah, with one hundred individual thirty but what the hell? <laughs> That's... Okay... Oh wait, there we did it! We clipped its wings a little bit. Oh, there we did. Ah, okay. We did it, actually. Okay, fine. That worked. Now let's try it on something a little bit more durable, because I think I still want to go for the fra for the frag, because it's less spectacular, but it does poke holes in things a bit better. Hold on, let's get you reloaded like that. Let's try you out against the falcons. Okay, all right. Okay, so the thing went kablooey, that was nice. Maybe I should go HE for this. Let's see if it works. Seems to be about equal, actually. Like, in terms of missing horribly. Or not getting that little scratch damage. Yeah, I do, I do minimum, wait, what? Minimum accuracy, I don't think you mean minimum accuracy, I think you mean, like, minimum detection rating or something. And the problem with doing that, actually, I will do that. Actually, no, I'll do that later. Yeah, this is not working as well. This is not working as well against a fast target. I mean, they collided with each other, so that's nice. Here and but I am going to do that thing you suggested with just dialing this down a little bit. Gay detection error. Let's say 100. Detection signature. Yeah. Range bracket, altitude bracket, just the fire rate. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, there's nothing about accuracy in here. That's w that. I don't know what you were talking about. Yeah. 
15 meters. What's the frag radius? Just set that. It's set to 180. Like, frag doesn't have an adjustable radius. Okay, let's set it. Okay, let's set it to 50. All right. All right, we'll do that thing. We'll do the same over here. Problem is, is that really small vehicles uh, might not even have that. Okay, let's go. Oops. Okay, we got to build the actual thing itself. So let's place over two. Let's place over one. And now let us just build the whole damn thing because why not? And one, two, three, four, five. We're going to be using not an insubstantial amount of wood in this thing. There we go. Okay, groovy, all right. I like it. I like it and do it. All right. We're just gonna squeeze and stuff around it. Wait a minute. How many is this? Freaking do, pig. Okay. Groovy. Okay, cool. Alright, so now I don't want this thing to be too lithic, so. Alright, so this armor scheme is going to be very basic. This is not going to be an incredibly tanky thing. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on! Gonna be a little bit more efficient. Do that. Now, it means we can do this. Okay, groovy groovy, and slopes, because why not? Future proofing. Whoopsie daisy. I think I'm going to have a three meter wooden deck that is deliciously sandwiched. Where I could do this. Ay, 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 ay. This is one of those builds, I already know it. It's going to turn out probably terribly. Probably terribly. Tall boy. Yep, it's tall. It's tall. It's tall. No, why? There's method in my madness here. I assure you. I assure you. The idea is, is that I don't want to use alloy because apparently alloy is expensive. So three meter thick deck because we shoot at aircraft all the time. And we're not doing the cross hatching thing that Jumatism is so fond of. We're doing something a bit more basic than that. We're being basic. And I'm gonna go maybe we are gonna do the cross hatching thing. 
not cross hatching thing. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, num, num, num. Just go three layers of stuff here. Actually, yep, we are gonna do the cross hatchy thing. Apparently, this is just this is just cheap hit points. Is the idea? The whole idea. I'm always. I'm trying this out. I'm still in the process of trying this out. So far, this thing is actually kind of cheap. And it's got all its weapons already. Yeah, you and me too, Bible man. The official FTD Discord is like... Ugh, it's mainly a great way to get completely ignored or sneered at. Uh, oh, the two... I have not seen the work of the Twin Gods new cobble. What's that been like? Wow. I knew it was bad, but just, just no? That's rude. Huh. Yes, like, unfortunately, like, it's not all bad over an official, in OFDD official, but, yeah, it's like, I don't know, there's people in there that just, you know, they get their jollies from, you know, getting other people down, and it's like, it's, it's no good, man, it's no good, it's just no good, man, I'm just sitting here using blocks. Just sitting here having a play, you know? Oh crap, I did that wrong, didn't I? Yes, I did. Not to worry, we have the power. We can do this stuff. There we go. Oh boy, a deep water guard chat. Ooh. Cheers, I'm not probably not gonna see that DM. But yeah. Well not immediately anyway. Because I'm a silly boy. Whoops, that's supposed to be wood. That is supposed to be wood. Actually no, it's not supposed to be wood. What am I saying? This instead. This thing better float. I'm gonna be upset if it doesn't. How's this thing up? This is still kind of cheap. Interesting. Interesting. Also, this is about as thick as it's gonna get. <laughs> it still needs a nice big superstructure right there. Right there. Alright, Nets. Now do the thing I want to do. I'm gonna be take a huge risk and not have a double layer under here. Which is something I never do. I mean, I'm kind of gonna have a double layer. Kind of, sort of, not really. There we go, there's our hydrofoil thing. We're gonna do just a delicious kind of thingy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two. 
delicious wedge. Are we gonna have room for fun and activities in here, though? Is the question. Well, that is not winning any awards for Sexy Hull. Should I just have that slope down? I'm kind of tempted just to have that slope down. Eh. eh. Whatever. Whatever, we are having a good time here. We're having a good time. Not a smart time, a good time. This thing is very cheap and it's starting to freak me out a little bit. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. How long have I been streaming? About an hour. Hey, lovely. Okay, what do I want in life? What do I want in life? I want to do stuff. I think I did this last time as well. Three, four. Rubber does tend to get shot off, unfortunately, but um, it's worth it to not make sweet, painful love uh, to the ground. Azapod goes here. Yes, we're using Azapods because that's smart and I like doing it. Okay, what, what, what was I doing? I was doing this. I was finishing up in here. Okay, so. What is our armor scheme? One, two, three, two, three. And I have already muffed it. <laughs> oh boy, I've already muffed it. solid wood in there just because because I say so because I say so and what so That is working. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that will do, pig. Why am I even bothering? What is going to be in here that I want to protect so badly? I do not know. Truly, I do not. 
And I guess air pump. Boop. Boop. This is why you need to plan ahead, ladies and gentlemen, because otherwise you make a giant fuel of yourself. You make a foolish fuel. Guys, object permanence. I might stick something in there. Probably ammo. Because I always remember the ammunition last. Uh, oh yeah, he, I mean, are helium pumps cheaper than air pumps? Oh, blow me down, so they are. Uh, how much does that front cost? Uh, really not much. Honestly, it's a mixture of uh, wood and metal. It's kind of cheap, really. This is why I don't usually be clever with armor schemes because whoops because they're time consuming it's just easier to prefab stuff like crazy reinforced wood is lazy man's option and that's fine oops 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 oops, ah, oops. there we go Building submarine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. Helium has a disadvantages. Major disadvantages. It also has advantages. I just keep saying advantages. Um, what the hell? No. What? I felt like I was taking crazy pills for a second. And this, this is the bit where we just go like so. Literally no reason for what I just did. I just felt like it, I guess. See, this thing feels cheap. It's, yeah, it's less than 100,000 materials, and we still... I don't know, all the main guns are on here. Can she float, though, is the question. 
can she float? I'm actually starting to enjoy this thing. I'm not sure if that came across. But I am. This is a weird craft. Let's see if it floats. My money is on... Hello, that floats kind of well. That air pump at the front definitely helps, but... Yeah, lots of wood in the construction. Lots of wood in the construction. Let's actually finish it. I mean, finish the hull itself. Might be able to stick anti-submarine crams on this thing. How are we doing? We're still less than, uh... We're still less than 100k. I might stick up... I might make this lead, actually. Just in case. Just in case. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Is this thing rolling? No, wow. Actually, damn. Look at this. It floats. She floats. She floaty floats. She's gonna float even better in a second. Uh, let's go... Let's save this thing first. I mean, I could do air pumps in the turret wells. That's an idea. Okay, let's go... Where do we want to go? I'm gonna say... I'm gonna create a brand new folder, actually. Cram... Oopsies. Damn it. Neater. Probably going to need some kind of active defense. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? We need to stick the AI compartment in here. I know what to use. Control mechanism, my trusty rubber box. Which I will stick here, and then I will surround with metal because I just don't care, apparently. Okay, we've got more GPPT than we need. That's Good. It means we can do fun activities. So... Right, 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 right. Boom, boom, and boom. So there we have that, and we can stick engines in the front. That's for sure. Doo -doo. Caterpillar Katarina, because you can never go wrong with a caterpillar. Oh, okay. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Engines, engines, engines. Caterpillar Katarina, there we go. Well, this thing should be mostly torpedo-proof because uh, having a little thin hull like that's not great. Okay, there we 
Thank you. Okay, what else do we want? We need ammo barrels. We're probably going to stick more fun and activities in here. For now, I'm just going to do this. We can always fit something else in there in a hot second. Together. It's all coming together. My evil plan to make a anti-air cram thing. Evil because it's stupid. I'm going to just crop this over here. What's the worst that could happen? Alright, so now ammo compartments, thankfully, probably shouldn't be too big let's just go like let's see how much ammo do we need actually we need a we need a fair amount <laughs> we need actually a fair amount We can chuck another one in the front, and then we have room for fun and activities. Elsewhere, always leave room for upgrades. You never know. You might need them. Prefab this whole thing. Like so. doing but still below 80,000 materials wow that's nice that's nice and I like it all right let's go here and let's just from the back work our way through Good, jolly good, jolly good. Add a second main gun. Actually, I am kind of liking this thing. It's very simple. It looks simple and basic. And I like it. Alright, so let's go. Where are we? Here. Oh, it's so much. Putting. Put, just, you gotta put your secondaries on early to figure out what the hell you want in life. Learning things. This thing was about to be such a failure. Now it looks like a successful thing. Also, I think I like this deck structure. I might start using this from now on, for the most part. Just the three meter sandwich. Delicious three meters. I could be prefabbing stuff, but I'm actually enjoying just placing them like so. Like so. Ready. Now let's see. Oh, look at that. The superstructure right here. So that's important. <laughs> Oops. OK, 
Okay, I like where this is going, actually. I like where this is going. Hmm, interesting. Alright, now this needs armor. This needs le armor. Alright. Right, right, right. Right, she cried. This is gonna be stupid. There's no way this is gonna be stupid. There's no way at all this is gonna be stupid. You just gotta remember, it's not stupid. Thing fun? It's a fun thing. There we go. And here we go again. This thing has a ridiculous neck. Ridiculous neck. Why is your neck ridiculous? Stop being so ridiculous. Does this still float? <laughs> is the question. It does still float. Beautiful. I'm going to quickly put a control seat somewhere just there, probably. Chair, beware of chair. Uh, that goes there actually, and that goes there. I have ex what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What madness are you talking about? Oh, that. Good thing I spotted that early, otherwise, that would have been embarrassing. Embarrassing, I say. How's the screen quality? Yeah, it's fine. Might do some deco on there. How thick is that? That's actually plenty thick. Alright, so now the hydrofoil part of this. And I learned the other day that you don't actually need to go super crazy for this. Okay. Okay, this might be what tips it over the freaking... Can fill this with wood. It's fill air. Okay. 
Okay, center of mass is right here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, we've just gone over a hundred thousand. Boo! I mean, I could make this cheap. I could make some, just make the underside wood, but that might make it roll later, and we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Okay, we have six thousand. Okay, double as a foot full. Rubber, because I've learned the hard way that rubber is a good idea. Let's go here. Let's go here, and angle control, swap that. And just for giggles, just for giggles, I'm going to... Oh, whoa. Hello. Hello, hello. Just for giggles, I'm going to do this. literally no reason to do this but I want to so I did it <laughs> actually I'm gonna do the same over here this is really me mucking around right now there's literally no reason to do this except possibly cutting costs and making the underside of this look pretty which is fruitless because most people will never see it including me Alright, let's start with that. We can add more isopods as we go. Right, and also just need to remember to do this because it's important. Chat's just chatting right now. It's just like, yeah. better superstructure up there, I think. I could do better than that. 
That does look a little funny. Alright, let's do this. Let's just go with that. And let's go here. Shipple tank. On water. Now reverse. Yes, yes, please. Alright. Now let's just chuck you against a flying squirrel and see what happens. happens is we're not very fast, so that's not a good start. <laughs> we need more as a pod. We need a lot more as a pod. Yay! Hey, look at that! And we're not even moving properly yet. Alright. Okay, let's see here. Alright, how much power are you using? Not enough. Need more Azipod. Or we could just stick a jet engine in here. Where are we? We're here. Ooh. My money's on the squirrel, you think? <laughs> Uh, you think, you think, you think. All right. Oh no. No, no, we're fine. Okay. Okay. Are we going that way? Yes, we are. Turn off for a second. Two. And two, and one, two. And she goes boing. Alright, now she must be tested against the ultimate threat, the Marauder. Alright, she's not super quick. How'd the armor hold? Just fine. Okay, never mind. <laughs> She goes 45 meters per second. And she's super maneuverable. Gotcha. Alright, this is this looks successful. This is a good starter vehicle. I like it. I like it a lot. This is a very much Ireland gaming type of thing, isn't it? Alright, let's go here. I think you're stretching them off. Hell yeah, I like this thing. I like this thing a lot. We're murdering a marauder, no worries. <laughs> this is about as fast as you want a cram vehicle, unless you're doing interesting cheesy things. Yay! You need a flag, because that's important. Right here on the back. Actually, no, wait. Yep, 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 yep. Decorations, flag post, boop, right there, so people know what we're on about. 
we're just going to slap some uh, some missile defense on here. It's for basic stuff. Basic stuff. Basic stuff. Basic stuff. Most basic stuff you've ever seen. Very basic, very basic. Okay, so back here we can stick some missile decoys because that's a good idea. I'm going to stick it on rubber because I can do that. Okay, let's go. Where's it? 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 How are we doing for time? We're doing great for time. Damn. It's closer to the bar, but the one behind the turret? Really? Oh, struth, so it is. That's no good. We need to do this. My feet are cold. Excuse me while I put my slippers on. Yeah. Slippers are important. Okay, what was I doing? I was doing... Doing uh, doing I was doing this, okay, so I'm just gonna be I mean I could I'm going to actually hold on. Hold on a moment. Let's go here. Don't need all of this. Actually, I'm gonna hold on to that. We might need to dip some sonar in the water or something. Where's uh, my control scheme? Control mechanism? No, countermeasures. Countermeasures. Remember where you save stuff. Uh, just flare launcher ACB. Effect range, it's flare. ACB block naming is my favorite thing ever. Lair. And staggered fire. Goes burnt. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with the shaders uh, in the game at the moment. I don't know how to fix it. see what I'm doing. It's much better. So, yeah, so cram only neater means uh, cr only crams are the offensive weapons because I don't see a way I'm gonna have a good time without stuff like this. Alright, do I have enough ammo? Yay, we do! Alright, so variable thruster, fuel tank, and radar target simulator. Flare, sticky, sticky, sticky. And reload time is that, so we're gonna do that. And ramp time, okay. Uh, do 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 do, 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 do. walking is, or that. 
And a couple of packs of lunch pads, and save here, and let's chuck it against something that has way too many missiles. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I don't really see it work. Where's it? Where is the friggin'. I forgot what it's called. What is it called? Nest of bees? No. Satisfa no, what's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Hornet's nest. That's the one. Was that removed? Do you just not get that anymore? You know what? Let's really be silly and test this against a palisade and see what happens. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Something's not right here. Fuel tank, stupid. Let's try that again. <laughs> uh, detection. Oh yeah, the Palisade has signal processors, so this could be bad. This could be very bad. Absolutely not what this thing's up. I hate the Palisade. I freaking... Well, this is a great opportunity to test armor and see how well it does. Amazingly w what the... Okay, this armor scheme is actually kind of good because it managed to survive a Palisade volley. This thing probably actually has a huge radar signature because the entire thing is hanging out above the water. So let's just do... Three, there we go, and... 14,000. How big is this thing's radar signature? 85,000. Okay, hopefully that will do... Let's try that again. Let's try it again, I say. Um, I hate the Alcazar more, I think, simply because you're far more likely to run into it. The Palisade is like... You know, it, it doesn't feel as obnoxiously durable as the Alcazar. But then again, I haven't run into it as much. Which is probably the difference. How much damage do you do? Okay, so do these things just don't give a damn about decoys? Do they just not care? I hate that. Okay, I'm starting to hate the Palisade more than the Alcazar, because look at this crap. Just ignores it completely. Okay, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm more scared of the Alcazar. I mean, more scared of the Palisade than the other thing. Uh, I'm reminded why I don't use these things as much as I used to because it's like, ugh, they're just not good. Just not good. The fact that I'm trying to use medium missiles is probably also not the best idea. Not the best idea, let's be honest. Alright. Please don't freeze on me. You're funny you should mention, uh,. Cram bombers, Eagle, because I've never made a cram bomber that I'm happy with. Like, not even once. And I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong, maybe my expectations for them are too high, but it's just like, it never feels right. It never feels like a good time. Try to make a cram bomb, it just 
made me very sad. Very sad it didn't work. In case anyone failed to notice, we're trying the large missile now. Okay, fuel tank. Flare and just so much radar target simulation. Okay, there's no way in hell. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm so focused on this thing working against the Palisade, but oh damn it, now it's freaking. Now it's 120,000 materials! I don't like it. I need cheaper ways of, uh... I need cheaper ways of evading missiles. Alright, let's see here. Palisade again. Oh boy. I mean, bombers can work great, but... Yeah, they really got to pick their target. Yes! Okay, that'll do, because that's a lot better than nothing. Damn it! I don't like the Palisade. You know what, though? This thing is apparently durable enough to take multiple large missiles to the face, so that's interesting. That's interesting and nice. Okay, cool. Now let's test this against really obnoxious aircraft. Although it can already beat the flying squirrel. Let's test this against a swarm of flying squirrels, shall we? What else can we do with this thing, though? Hmm. Right, right, right. We've got 10 minutes or so. This is actually kind of successful. I'm glad this is a success. So I'm not a fan of this wood here, though. Actually, I... I lied. This thing has a kind of weird, ruggedy look to it. Can we tell? Yep, swarm of flying squirrels. Here we go. How much is this uh, thing worth? This is 120,000. One, 1,000. Uh, 120,500. So, math. 120. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I'm going to do math. 1, 2, 3, 500. Divided by. Ah, goodness. Divided by. 16,000, let's say. Wait, that's not right. Is that? Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, so seven, let's say 7.58 flying squirrels. Let's go. This music's too loud. Why am I listening to it? Let's do that instead. Go, my child! Well, wow! 
It took out one of them immediately. Oh no! My ship is confused. Okay, wow, this thing's actually... This thing's actually good at dealing with squirrels. I guess if there's more targets, you're less likely to miss. Oof! Yeah, maybe I should do that, except I really do want it to uh, focus on whatever's closest. Tiny lambs on here or something. Wow, okay, yeah, just direct hits disintegrate them. Also, that deck is actually holds up really well. <laughs> Damn, this thing actually does its job wonderfully. Yeah, the best way to defeat the Lightning Hoods is just trick them into driving to land, for the most part. Speaking of, I need to test this against Lightning Hoods craft. Damn! Hope everyone was watching that, because it was really good. Thank you, Drinkfire. Thank you, thank you. This is... Damn. We just flattened a swarm of flying squirrels. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, we need to deco this thing. I'm gonna stick railings on this. For no other reason than because I can. for deco, thank goodness for deco, thank goodness for deco. I guess we need, you know what else we need? We do need funnels. We need funnels, because you can't have fun without funnels. So I'm not sure if a camouflage texture would work well with this, but um... Actually, I have an idea. Might work really well. Why not place actual railings? Um, two reasons. Firstly, uh, they cost materials, and secondly, they get shot off really easily, and you have to repair them. So no, I never use 
actual rail blocks. Uh, just because deco is just more fun. Perfect. I kind of don't want to make more crams in here. I might stick anti-submarine uh, things in here because we do have room for them. We could sneak one here, there, and everywhere. Like, I mean, in between, in between the AI crams. Actually, we could sneak them in here. But we'll save that for another day. We will save that for another day. Uh. Control sh yeah, control X uh, for decoration. Control Shift X to just place a block as decorations. Okay, I might need to rethink uh, these munition walls. In fact, I am going to rethink these munition walls. Right, so forgive me, Father, but I must do this. Trying to think of what I want to do here. Do something cute and cool. I'm not good at that. smoke thingy there it is there we go and I can do this with a lead beam I love decoration. It's great. Can't get enough of it. How is this thing... Okay, this thing does eat materials a little bit, but it's okay. Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it. And now I need to put munition wounds back where I found them. Yay! Alright, so, I have a camouflage idea. Okay, so metal goes... Uh, hashtag. Not that again. Hashtag. Oh, Arctic. Start with that. Oh! Actually, that looks fine. What was I even talking about? How's that? I'm actually gonna like that. You know what I might do though? I might. How much should we. Should I replace this wood with alloy? Should I do that? I kinda wanna do that. I wanna see what that looks like. Mainly for looks. 
Unless people will riot if I do that. Never mind. I mean, da Dazzle is fun, but it looks kind of silly, which is why I generally don't use it. You know what, actually, I should do? I should put a bit of extra rubber on the tip, because, you know, you know it's, it's, it's for safety. One, two, three, four. And on the back. This thing. One, two, three, four. Successful little hydrofoil. Kind of cheap. Could probably give a plunderer a run for its money. Very basic boat ship, too. Is there anything else we can add to it? Don't think so. I think that's all we can do. I think that's it. I think that's all we can do, pig. I think, yeah, okay. Let us, what shall we do? Let's, let's shoot at a marauder. Let's shoot at how many? Let's shoot at three marauders. something terrible. Oh, dearie me. So, yeah, marauders are way more dangerous uh, when uh, cram speed is doubled. we got spongy ass armor wow actually against light targets that frag does a real number on them This armor scheme is actually kind of good. I like it. I like it a lot. Wee! I love this thing. Has anyone got name suggestions for it? Yeah, I'm not too worried about uh, getting through active defenses with this thing, because that's not what it's for. Like... This is like a, this is like a starter craft, like the first craft you build and you send it off against the Deepwater Guard and some Onyx Watch stuff. It's not really designed to go up against something like, say, an Alcazar or something like that. Although I think a mob of them could probably give an Alcazar a run for money. Something frog I heard earlier. Hmm. All right. This doesn't seem particularly froggy. I'm actually kind of proud of that main turret. It seems to do a good job in general. Hey, cram only needs her. We're getting places. The 
duck. The duck. Now that you mention it, this thing does have a duck-like vibe to it. What kind of duck? What kind of duck, I say? Oh yeah, Exa good point guys, I like how you're thinking. Just give me the duck and then we can make a goose and a swan. Same version of it. I like it, I like it a lot, yeah. Eyes like a lizard, what are you talking about? Yeah, duck, duck, goose, then... Yeah, duck, goose, then swan. It just kind of glides along. On top of the water, yeah. Alright, so this is uh, what kind of duck? We need... Okay, so we've got the duck. I like describing it like objective than now. Central turret headphones? Oh my god, no. But uh, what I will do is this. If it's gonna be a duck, it needs a bill. Pecking duck. What's it? Uh, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna just quickly look up. Hmm. Mella, ducking duck. Water bird. Ducking duck. I want a name for this thing, guys. <laughs> Wait a minute, this thing has eight cram cannons. Maybe call it the Octoduck? Pe <gasps> yes! 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 Legal Eagle, you genius! You genius! Yes, packing duck! Okay, so. I'm gonna say, put this thing back in the prototypes. Proto. I'm gonna call this thing the packing duck, so... Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Should I spell it that way? Yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, that's okay. Yay, we have a duck. We have a duck, we have a duck, we have a duck. We have a duck. We have a duck. Oh, I love it. Oh, this this stream's gone so well. I was so scared this was gonna turn out like last time. I was like, oh, we've got a we've got a lame duck, but no, we have an effective duck. It's great. Yay! Well, that was beautiful. I love the stream. I guess uh, I don't know. Maybe we can work on the goose next time, or maybe not. Maybe I'll save that for um uh, for off camera. But anyway, this was great. Pretty neat and strange effect. It took on a swarm of flying squirrels and just destroyed them. It was fantastic. Oh, boy. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me on this stream. Thank you for your help. It was actually quite helpful multiple times. Well done, chat. Uh, Legal Eagle, great name suggestion for the packing duck. And, yeah, so usual story. Like and follow and subscribe on YouTube and Twitch. And... Um, yeah, support me membership and Patreon and all that stuff. And usual shout out 
I wrote a book. It's called Two of Rogues. It's available in ebook form on most ebook stores. Uh, go have a read if you haven't already. It's quite good. And I will see you next week. Thank you all so much. And farewell.